Hi, it's Jesse from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another AliExpress haul. In this video, we are going through a lot of stores, and I'm speeding it up because you know I don't like long videos. Anyway, this uh, store with these bits was actually recommended to me by one of you guys. So thank you so much for that. Um, they had really great prices. They shipped super fast and the bits are really, really nice. So that first one I showed you with that tiny, tiny ball, apparently those are really good for if you get like a little bit of gel polish on the side of the cuticle. And this one was a little bit for me and a little bit for the salon. I needed some new makeup brushes and these ones were actually really highly rated and like ridiculously affordable and I can't even begin to tell you how flippin soft they are they just like I've spent some really good money on some brushes that don't feel near as nice as these ones so I'm super duper impressed I mean pretty much all your brushes are made in China anyway might as well get a deal on it, right? And yeah, I'm super happy with them. I've used them. They work really nicely and they didn't cost me like a ton of money. This was something I was really interested in trying out. Um, I'm trying to use a lot less disposable things. I want to try finding things that I can clean. Um, so I'm giving this a try. We're going to see how it works in the salon. Um, I only bought one. But it was a pretty decent price, and I like the idea that I could, you know, um, sanitize it and reuse it. So I thought these little frames were interesting. I feel like they might be more for scrapbooking than nails, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I did need some more of these for lash lifts. Unfortunately, they don't quite have that comb end as I like. I like it a little bit more of a comb. Um, and then I got these tweezers. I thought they were going to be way smaller. Ugh, I'm not a fan, but let's get into some fun stuff. I went a little ham on the stickers. Um, I really wanted these gold ones, and I did not even realize there was so much. I think it's Russian on there, which would be hilarious because I used to have a couple of Russian clients, and they would definitely be able to tell me, you know, what this all says. But um, I love all the stuff on them. I love the gold skeletons and the gold sayings and I love I love it all. I think it's really cool. Now these ones, they came in like a pack of four and there was I think about two in each one that I actually wanted and then some of the rest I really didn't care about. As you can tell there's some kind of me ones in there. But sometimes it's just like that. You have to get the pack to get the ones that you actually like. Um, and these ones, a lot of them were on like ridiculous sale. So I had to pick them up. Um, obviously, we have St. Some, some, some Patrick's Day um, stickers, but I didn't really have any. So I wanted to pick some up. I love these holographic flowers. I think they look so cute. And <clears throat> these kind of more tattoo style ones. And of course we have some Christmas stuff because you got to pick up your Christmas stuff now or you won't have it in time for Christmas. And some more Halloween stuff. This pack is a mix of stuff. And they had a really neat selection of glow-in-the-dark things. So all these ones here are glow-in-the-dark and I just thought they were really, really cute. Um, they do glow very nicely. And... You know, some Halloween, some fall vibes, and then, of course, like, some kind of Day of the Dead stuff, and probably my favorite, aliens. I just think they're so cute. It, uh, maybe it's, like, the 90s kid in me that was obsessed with aliens. Um, one of the stickers got stuck on there, but this is, like, a whole, like tim burton vibe on these stickers and i do have a lot of clients that are obsessed with his work so that'll be good and then some just ridiculously cute like look at these ridiculously cute halloween stickers i'm obsessed i love them and then just another another christmas one <laughs> i think i got two of the same one but that's fine and um, I decided to give these 5D art ones a try. They are raised slightly, so you would have to encapsulate them a little bit. Um, but I think they'd be kind of cool, like add a little bit of dimension with them being raised. 
Um, and there were some kind of cool ones. This one I thought would be really interesting, especially like with the bullet holes and the blood drips and it says help in blood and the vampire lips. I, I think it's really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff you could definitely do with these. So I'm excited to try them out. And of course I had to get some like basic supplies. I love these little sticks. They're great for nails, pedicures. I even use them for waxing. And <clears throat> Since I had such good success with the other watercolors, I decided to try these ones. They're like the iridescent ones and see how they go. Let's get to swatching that right away. I don't know why my camera was upside down and I couldn't figure out how to flip it back in editing. So this is what it is. Um, they worked really, really nice. Um, they sh obviously show up over black the best. Um, over the white one, they look really pretty, but it's, like, more subtle, obviously. And I think it would obviously look good over any color as well. And, yeah, just uh, showing you the up close. I do end up kind of watercolor blending these out and then top coating them at the end. Um, just to kind of show you what they look like blended. With the white, it was, like, way too subtle but um, if you left these more solid like how I'm doing them now you would definitely see them a little bit um, but yeah they're just really pretty and really subtle over like the lighter colors obviously but I love them this is what they look like um, kind of blended out and top coated obviously the white much more subtle and the black is just really really pretty I'm really impressed with how it all turned out um, this one is all Nicole diary the previous one was full beauty um, I love a lot of the Nicole diary plates and I had to get their new Halloween plates they were just kind of ridiculous um, there's like some sexy ghosts there's but then there's also some really cute stuff like this um so i'm gonna test them out i'll swatch them um near the end of the video um but i've always had really good luck with nicole diary plates so highly recommend um and of course i got some more stickers i really like these i think they're very fall but without being like in your face fall and i needed some harley quinn because why not i think i think she's awesome and then i loved the idea of like kind of like a rainbow watercolor halloween thing it's still a bit spoopy but not like crazy spooky and then of course some more christmas stuff because we are leading into that season and i love a little bit of greenery this one i thought was super unique i haven't seen really anything like these before and just had to pick it up. I'm always kind of on the hunt for like new stuff and I was really obsessed with this one because it has that kind of like Coca-Cola Santas on it and those are kind of my favorite type of Santa is the Coca-Cola Santa and then um, I did have, I don't know if you saw my last empties video, I had a brown alcohol ink that dried up so I had to buy a new one of those and then um, I keep seeing that they have these like acrylic powders which you can use for like dip, you can use to do like 3D and you can apparently use to just be your acrylic color. So I'm testing those out as well. And you'll see my struggle. It's been a long time since I've done any 3D acrylic, but you'll see, we'll get into it. Anyway, on to the ink. Um, it definitely wasn't as brown as I thought it was going to be, but it is definitely a brown. Um, I did it over a matte top coat and it blended beautifully that's one thing i've really been impressed with the nicole diary alcohol inks is they blend so so nicely um i have had trouble with other like professional inks that they just don't blend well and i just blended it with like a mixture of alcohol and acetone this chrome i saw it online and i was like i haven't seen anything like this at all and you almost don't really see the finish until you top coat it but it's super unique. I really, really like it. Here is it top coated. And you see it's like orangey red to like a purple burgundy. Um, super dark, mysterious. I love it. I love that shift. So, so pretty. And then <clears throat> this is one of those. It's like 
kind of like white, almost clear. I'm doing this over top of like a base coat, so like a sticky coat. Um, and I should have done it with a brush. It would have gone on a lot nicer. Um, but it changes color. So I thought it'd be really cool to do some designs that you can only see in the sun. Um, I was supposed to get a black one too, but they did not send it. Um, and then watch me struggle doing 3d acrylic um but like i said i haven't done it in a long time and i find a lot of this stuff you do have to continually practice um and like i've taken lots of courses on like 3d and swirls and different art techniques and even the watercolor and that's one of the things any good teacher will tell you is you could take the class you could spend a ton of money but if you're not practicing it and keeping up with those skills you do kind of lose it and then you kind of have to struggle to get where you were but like i'm not mad at it it actually turned out pretty decent i was really like oh my god what am i doing but it i brought it together is it the best i've ever done no but it's pretty cute like i got there in the end um so i think it turned out pretty good they work really well for 3d stuff and they dried up super quickly like it there's been somewhere i'm like this is mush forever and while you watch me stamp i want to ask you to comment below whether you are pro or diy and your instagram handle and i'm gonna choose a bunch of people by random and send them some fun nail stuff some stuff for pros some stuff for diyers please do that i want to send you guys some cool stuff and thank you so much for supporting my channel and i love you guys so much Please like and subscribe and we will see you later.